Xin chào, this is Ha. Hola, I'm Barbara. Bonjour, I'm Lucy. Hoi, my name is Jessa. We're back at the Barbican to review Open Fest. Open Fest is a two day festival with talks, workshops, and events, and it showcases everything that the Barbican does best. So we'll be sharing with you some of our favorite highlights over the weekend. for me for the show was definitely the film screening for Conic Youth Film Festival. I really enjoyed watching the curation of Elsewhere Within Here, African Voices, and it was just really amazing because you were able to see the creativity and imagination of children, of African children, something that for me I feel like is not always shown. So the film started with Same de Cinema, where it's two young boys trying to struggle and hustle to get some money to be able to watch the last screening of Malcolm X, and they move on to a different film, Petite Lumiere, an eight-year-old girl called Fatima who was just trying to make sense of the world, questioning what adults have told her on her life. And it's quite fascinating to see that because, you know, usually I feel like African women can be portrayed as being meek, quiet, beautiful characters. But here you have an eight-year-old just going crazy, just challenging and questioning things. And then that moves on greatly to Mwansa the Great. Shows you that with imagination and creativity, the world is your oyster. You don't just see what's at hand, but you see what could be. Once of the Great ends in a very ambivalent and dark tone, and I think that really sets the stage for Adele. And Adele is the only film that's not based in Africa at all, but rather is based in Australia. And Adele looks at how childhood can suddenly be cut short by adults. Afterwards, I went to watch another film for Akim. A thrilling story about fighting to achieve greatness when the chips are against you. In the evening, I stumbled upon Just Jam. Demographic definitely changed as kids left and the youth of London came to let loose. The set list was a good encapsulation of London. As part of Open Fest's craft workshop program, London-based artist Gail Chong Kwan and her creative workshop called The People's Forest caught my political eye. The People's Forest is a two-year investigation into the history, politics and people of London's ancient woodland, Epping Forest. Environmental activism was the theme of the task itself. You had to create your own protest poster using pine cone string and more. But what's the protest? Well, the protest is anything that you feel deserves attention in your community. For example, protecting park spaces from developers. I think it was a really fun activity for families to get involved with because you not only had to create a work of art, but the workshop got you thinking about deforestation and the importance of protecting the green world. Although it mostly attracted the youngsters, at 4pm we had a group of all ages storming the Barbican with posters, creating an effective community march. It's not just fun and play, it's fundamental politics for change. One of the events I enjoyed the most was a mini fashion statements workshop run by the Craftivist Collective. We made teeny tiny scrolls and wrote powerful messages on them, encouraging ethical consumption to then be dropped into the pockets of garments in chain clothes stores. The time and thought required in this small activity mirrored the intricate artisanal process and gave me a renewed admiration for craftsmen across the fashion industry. It may feel sometimes like we can do nothing to stop the human rights violations in sweatshops or the damage to the environment from mass consumerism. Good rolling skills. <laughs> but this form of gentle protest from the Craftivist Collective provided a much needed pause for reflection. One of the events that I've been really looking forward to was the ceramics market and workshops. Turning Earth Ceramic Studio had taken over the stunning Barbican Conservatory with 60 artists vlogging their wares. Some were purely decorative, others more functional, some were multicoloured and vibrant, others more muted. And the sprawling queue stretching out the front door was testament to the allure of this ancient craft. But I was disappointed to find the clay throwing workshops on offer only had one pottery wheel for guests to learn on. So the area quickly became congested with onlookers. There was also Perky Blender's Coffee and Wildcard Brewery selling drinks which I'd hoped would create a caffeine and booze-addled party atmosphere. But with so many bodies and no clear path to guide us through the conservatory, I felt more exasperated than excited.
However, the weekend at the Barbican was packed full of activity. There really was something for everyone. From film screenings, to craft and activism workshops, to looking at orchestra and dance rehearsals, to even transforming Beach Street Tunnel to a light and sound installation. OpenFest was such a great way to bring the community together through the arts. Thanks for watching. We're the Young Barbican Reviewers, and we're out.